This is Greg Stewart with FreemasonInformation.com, Symbols and Symbolism. And this episode is an exploration of a symbol that I stumbled onto almost by accident. It's a symbol most of us look to every day without knowing it and not understanding its relevance in the Masonic tradition. This symbol is the sun itself, the solar body that exists above us every day that we look to in the heavens to pray, to contemplate life, and to look for answers that may have eluded us in the shadow of darkness of night. This explanation comes from Mackey in his Encyclopedia of Freemasonry. Mackey describes this symbol as hardly any of the symbols of masonry are more important in their signification or more extensive in their application than the sun. As the source of material light, the sun reminds the mason of the intellectual light which he is in constant search. But it is especially as the ruler of the day, giving to it a beginning and end and a regular course of hours that the sun is presented as the Masonic symbol. Hence, of the three lesser lights, we are told that one represents or symbolizes the sun, one the moon, and one the master of the lodge, because as the sun rules the day and the moon governs the night, so should the worshipful master rule and govern his lodge with equal regularity and precision. And this is in strict analogy with other Masonic symbolisms. For if the lodge is a symbol of the world, which is thus governed in its changes of times and seasons by the sun, it is evident that the master who governs the lodge controlling its time of opening and closing and the work which it should do must be symbolized by the sun. The heraldic definition of the sun as a bearing fits most appropriately to the symbolism of the sovereignty of the master. Thus, Gwilian says, the sun is the symbol of sovereignty, the hieroglyphic of royalty, it doth signify absolute authority. This representation of the sun as a symbol of authority, while it explains the reference to the master, enables us to amplify its meaning and apply it to the three sources of authority in the lodge and accounts for the respective positions of the officers wielding this authority. The master, therefore, in the east is a symbol of the rising sun. The junior wardens in the south and of the meridian suns, and the senior warden in the west of the setting sun. So in the mysteries of India, the chief officers were placed in the east, the west, and the south, respectively, to represent the Brahma, or the rising Vishnu, or the setting, and Siva, or the meridian sun. And in the Druidical rites, the archdruid seated in the east was assisted by two other officers, the one in the west representing the moon and the other in the south representing the meridian sun. This triple division of the government of a lodge by three officers, representatives of the sun and his three manifestations in the east, south, and west will remind us of similar ideas in the symbolism of antiquity. In the Orphiric Mysteries, it was taught that the sun generated from an egg burst forth with power to triplicate himself by his own unassisted energy. Supreme power seems always to have been associated in the ancient mind with the threefold division. Thus, the sign of authority was indicated by the three-forked lightning of Jove, the trident of Neptune, and the three-headed Cerebus of Pluto. The government of the universe was divided between these three sons of Saturn, the chaste goddess ruled the earth as Diana, the heavens as Luna, and the infernal regions as Hecate. Whence, her rites were only performed in a place where three roads met. The sun is then presented to us in masonry, first as a symbol of light, but then more emphatically as a symbol of sovereign authority. But, as Wymus, speaking of scriptural symbolism, the sun may be considered to be an emblem of divine truth, because the sun or light of which it is the source. It not only manifests in itself, but makes other things. So one truth detects, reveals, and manifests another, 
as all truths are dependent on and connected with each other more or less. And this again is applicable to the Masonic doctrines, which makes the master the symbol of the sun. For as the sun discloses and makes manifest by the opening of day what had been hidden in the darkness of night, so the master of the lodge, as the analog of the ancient hierophant or explainer of the mystery, makes divine truth manifest to the neophyte, who has been hitherto in intellectual darkness and reveals the hidden or esoteric lessons of initiation.